What's up guys, today I'm going to be installing the hard body spacer on a 2009 Honda Ridgeline. Alright, first up guys, get a 10 mil socket and remove the negative cable. Alright, make sure you get your long flathead screwdriver and you see this right here? See it. To make sure you go to the left, don't go to the right. Alright, that's one, that's one. Alright, all right. move over, move over. Alright, alright, alright. Next one. Nice. All right, ready, guys? Ready? Now, what you do is just lift it up, guys. You know, just Honda, man. Honda technology right here, guys. All right, now, just put it down. Next up. All right, guys, now, we got to cover off, you know? Now, it's a fantastic time to uh, clean all of this, because um, as you guys can tell, the previous owner, uh, he went to the beach without me, guys. This is kind of rude, man. Alright guys, so next step, you gotta take this off, off of the top of the throttle body spacer. You gotta take this off, and this off. Right, so this part's a little tricky, get a small flathead, and get it under here just lightly. And then, this part, just go like left and right, and it'll come off. Hopefully. Alright guys, next step, 10 mil, right here. Take it off. All right, guys. So uh, update. What we have to do is take off the top, top hose too, so you can like wiggle it. Because if this does not want to come off, because it will not come off for us, take this part off, and we can just move right over, and we have access to the throttle body space. All right. So update. Get some WD-40, guys. Spray a little bit on here so it goes in here, so it's a lot easier to take off because it's a very long tube and just loosen it out like that. All right. Now get your 12 mil and loosen the two top ones. All right, for this one, guys, you're gonna need an extender and loosen these. One. Am I on it? All right, when you're done taking all the four bolts out, now it, you just go up and down, which I already did, and now slowly take it out. All right, now what you wanna do, you get the factory bolt, tighten it onto the, to here, and now when it's tight on there, you just loosen it. All right, now what you wanna do, remove this old gasket when you get the two studs out. So now you wanna open up the packaging, if you get two gaskets on this, once you're done cleaning all this up and it's nice, you get one gasket, just like that. Make sure this side is going in there, just like that. So if you guys are doing this install, you guys will have to go to your local AutoZone and get MA 1.25 80 mil bolts because the ones they give you with are too small. So yeah. All right, so now you guys wanna get your new bolts just like this, get the throttle body, and make sure this side's facing the throttle body like this. Drop that right in there, two bolts. Get that. Just like that, and drop it right in. And now you screw them in. Okay, so if you guys are using the AutoZone bolts, because the stock ones that come with it do not work. So um, if you guys are using the Auto AutoZone ones, make sure you guys have these two washers. It could just be like any two washers like this. All right, so now what you guys want to do, last step, put this onto here, reconnect all the hoses. This one goes into here and 
This one goes in here, and that's it. This one should look something like this. Don't forget to put back your negative thermal back on your battery. And that's it, guys.